I, I knew what most of the keys were, but we're always there was always a problem that we had to watch Jed <laughs> to see when he was key, changing key, and then every so often he would have to shout out what key he was playing in as well. We had a drummer who couldn't hear us very well, and um, no, he was deaf actually, and actually. he <laughs> and. If we ever deviated from, which we did quite a lot, from the set list, or if we added an extra verse, or you added an extra verse, yeah. there was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and we were not the best at giving signals to no, the no, drummer. No, and no. Because the drum was key to the sound and the rhythm, etc. We did have occasional train wrecks. Well, the problem was the signal, he couldn't hear, he could, you couldn't give him a verbal signal, so no. you'd have to look at him. Yeah. But if you look, if you were enjoying yourself and you just turned around and looked at him, he would he think would that stop. was a signal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you had to be very careful with the gestures yeah, yeah. that you made. Yeah. So we had to exclude him from the band. He, well, if we were happy, he wasn't allowed to be part of it. Yeah. Otherwise, he would stop. Well, until eventually you developed this. Raise your guitar <laughs> very obviously in the air. Yeah. I'm about to stop signal. <laughs> the thing about him was he made us into a, a tight unit because his uh, his discipline was what the band needed. Yeah. Can I speak about Jed? I'll never learn, I'll never learn, I'll never be good enough. He came up to Irish and he didn't have a battery for his fiddle. Oh, that was a bad one. That was, that a, big, that was a big on, one and yeah. a bad one. And he didn't have an acoustic fiddle, so he had to run off and buy a battery. So we had to delay the start of the concert by half an hour. <laughs> Did we? Yeah, you saying, right, okay. saying, it's not working, it's new, it's not working. <laughs> Jed, have you tried the battery? <laughs> Is there a battery? Well, we've all had a little a few thing lapses. underneath it. We've had a few lapses. <laughs> Like when I started playing without plugging the guitar in, I didn't remember that one. And then I was shouting at the sound guy because there was no sound. <laughs> he was he was distracted one day. One of his groupy friends came up and was talking to him. So he came on to play the harmonica and he, he had the harmonica at the wrong key. <laughs> wrong way round, was it? Was the, no, it was the wrong key, so we couldn't play along with him. And there's been a few more like that as well. But um, there, was, there, was, there was one time, and it's on video, when we were in the Irish village, and it was the song I'd played a million times before, Calliope House. Yes. And I forgot how it went. <laughs> so I got off the stage, so unprofessional. walked right round the front of the stage, went up to Jed, who was in the middle of a tune, <laughs> saying, Jed, how's Calliope House going? <laughs> he told me, I went back and played it. And uh, quite often, when we'd be playing, you would hear the whisper, what keys it in, what keys it in, because we never wrote anything down. We, we decided, I think Chris had a video about some rock band, mm. and, and they, yeah. had, they, they used a playlist, so we reckoned that was a good idea, so we started using a playlist after that. So we, we had a, a bass player from the men's college, Aspie. Yes. yes. Whose famous line was, Aspie, I love you dearly, but... <laughs> <laughs> we were practicing and he would play a wrong note and I would say, Aspie, that's the wrong note. And he would say, no, 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 it's, it's the right note. And I'd say, no, 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 it's the wrong note. This is the note and I would play it on the guitar. And he would play his and I'd say, no, that's the wrong note. He says, no, it's the right note, but I'm playing it at the wrong time. And we went and we actually recorded a CD. The end product was really good. Um, yeah, the best bit was the track, the cuckoo, when you made the mistake in the harmonica. I Twice. didn't make a mistake. And it was brilliant, and I just said, keep it rolling, keep going, keep going. 
<laughs> and that, that was the only mistake I've ever made. I know, but it, but it meant that we had the, one of the most spontaneous tracks. Keep going. That moment was the best moment, and that relaxed us. Yeah, yeah, and then we played yeah. our best, and people say that's the best track. Andy left, Jed left, and Chris left oh. at the same time. <laughs> Which says something same for the time. band. And we had a gig for the band. Remember, it was in the country club, and uh, two of the band were still around, but they said no, they're not doing it. So we went okay, up and did yeah, it on that's our own. Right, we did it on our own, and it was brilliant. That was, and yeah, we didn't need. We them. were brilliant. We didn't need them. <laughs> Afterwards, we, we picked up a few other stragglers, you know, strays from streets in Dubai. Uh, like who? Well, actually, Karen, uh, yeah. we needed a fiddle Karen player. Karen was a stray? She, she, was actually, she was actually on her way out to, um, to Dubai, and I, f I went into this pub in Edinburgh, top of, um, of the Royal Mile. And I met this friend of mine who, anyway... Was she, he famous? She used to... She knew Jed and Karen. It was, it was funny, yeah. you know, small world. And um, she said, oh, I've got a friend who's a good fiddle player. She's coming to Dubai. And we really, really needed the fiddle. It was That's right, yeah. an integral part of the sound. So I said, great, I'll get her, you know, details. And sure enough, new summer, just after summer, she got in touch and um, came along and um, well, filled, she was very good. filled the gap brilliantly, very, very good, brilliantly yeah. yeah. We only had one flute player, and that was Amanda. Amanda stayed with us for about a year, but she was very, very talented. Tremendous uh, Kelly band player and uh, tremendous rhythm, and uh, really, we got such a lift when she started playing with, with the band, and she took off. Within about a year, we did the first Caledonian Society dance, which was yes, that was, great, and that was a big was success. A great yeah. success. We'd never done anything like it before. Karen again sort of pulled us all together, made us learn 50 tunes. Yeah. 